What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take the Rococo Video AI data in the iClone 8. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, you can see I have this janky green screen up. I know you guys gave me crap about it before, but what can you say? I bought this off of Amazon. I mean, eMark. I mean, no one ever heard of this, but it gets the job done. So I put this green screen up. I have some clothes that are contrasting with it. And I do some simple motion capture here. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this data that I shot on my iPad. But of course, you can use any camera that you see fit. I just happen to use my iPad. But from here, I'm going to take this video footage and bring it into Rococo Video. So what you want to do is you want to go to Rococo.com. Come over here to Products. And then I'm going to come down here to Rococo Video. And then right here where it says Try It Out, we're just going to left click on this one right here. And then if it's your first time using it, it's going to give you this welcome video here. So... I'm just going to scroll through this real quick and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set up a new scene and I'm just going to name this one iClone 8 and hit create scene and then I'm going to use local video. Now you do have the option of recording your own video if you want like through a webcam or something of that nature but I like recording everything ahead of time and then just dragging and dropping it into the web browser here. So I'm going to select local video file like so and that's going to bring up this next screen right here. So I have my Windows Explorer open and I'm actually just going to left click and drag some of the footage in here and then i'm just going to give us a chance to upload if you look down here the disclaimer says it's a 300 megabyte file so keep that with a grain of salt i'm doing 4k 60 frames per second but i kept it within that 300 megabyte limit so right here you see everything is uploaded and i'm just going to actually scroll through it and get to a point to where i think is good so i usually like to start in t-pose it's not really necessary but that's just something that i like to do so it looks like about here is where it's a good spot and i'm just going to scroll through here let's see where i want it to end at maybe somewhere around right there so about 19 seconds in so i'm just going to left click and i'm going to drag this time bar over like so and then i'm just going to click right here where it says new recording i'm just going to name this one iclone 8 just so we know what we're working with and then i'm going to come up here to the top right hand corner and put turn into animation and let this work as magic so everything is uploaded as you can see here and only took a few minutes but the next step is to open up Rococo Studio. In order to use Rococo Video you want to make sure that you're using the latest version of the Rococo Beta. And once you have that this is what the screen is going to look like. And so down here in my lower left hand corner I have a video file that said iClone 8. I just left clicked on it and I'm just going to wait for this to load up. And here we are. So we have our video character right here. I'm going to come over here on the left hand side where it says iClone 8. I'm going to double click on it, give it a second to adjust itself. And then I'm just going to move my camera around a little bit just to kind of make this in center here. And let's see what kind of data we got. So I'm going to click play here. See, we're coming out of the T-pose, waving at the camera there. And then I should, yeah, there we go. So we got the arm movements pulling through it and everything. And everything looks pretty decent. Now, the cool thing about iClone 8 is there's a lot of cleanup tools and which Sam over at the Rococo YouTube channel did a live seminar on the other day showing you guys how to do it. But I'm just going to show you guys how we could take this file in the iClone 8 and you guys could take it from there. So let's say that you're happy with your motion capture data. I'm actually going to come down here and pause this. And then over on my right hand side, you want to make sure that you have export selected. And then my file format, I'm going to make sure it's an FBX. I don't need a body mesh or face that's not captured here and then right here where it says skeleton mesh i'm just going to come over here left click and hit mixamo and then my skeleton target system i'm just going to use the stick to three just whatever here's that default skeleton naming convention mixamo reference i'm going to leave at t pose and then rest pose i'm going to come over here and i'm going to put this at t pose as well then down here under fbx version i like using 2020 which is the latest version right here all the way at the bottom frame rate i could probably bring this down to 60 frames per second so the next step from here i'm just going to put where i want to save it to so i'm probably just going to save it here to my desktop click ok now with all those settings and everything that i have in there the next step from here is just we're going to export this out so over here in the lower right hand corner i'm going to hit export clips and i'm just going to wait for this to export and it looks like it's done so i'm just going to click open folder which should just take me to my desktop here in which i have my sbx file right here so the next step from here, I'm going to open up iClone 8 and show you guys how we can import this. So now we have iClone 8 opened up. For this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to use a default character. So I'm going to come over here on my left hand side where we have our template. I'm going to come right here to where it says actor. Click on this and I'm just going to come into the character folder. 
I'm just gonna look for a generic character that we might be able to use here. So maybe we use this coyote right here. It says it's humanoid, so let's try it out. No animations or anything is on this character. So the next step from here is you wanna make sure you have your character selected. To make sure he's selected, you'll actually see this yellow bounding box around him. And then I'm gonna come over to my desktop where I have it saved. And I have the FBX file right here. So I'm just gonna left click and drag it directly onto the character. And you'll see the yellow binding box actually turn into a solid lines here and everything. That makes sure that you're dragging this directly onto your character here. So I'm gonna let this go. And that's gonna bring up the import settings. Now this is the most important part right here where it says motion T pose optional. You wanna select on this folder right here. Then you wanna select the same FBX file that you exported out, which is the one that we're gonna be using. So we're gonna click open again, and then I'm gonna leave everything else the same here. I'm just gonna click convert all. So now you can see our characters in our T pose. If I click play, <laughs> he has some weird haired motion going on, but you can see the animation is actually in there now. Now, if you wanted to extend it from here and actually do some motion capture cleanup, I do have a tutorial. I'll leave a link up top and down in the comments down below or where you can see how you can actually use some of the tools in here to kind of fix some of the motion capture. But that's basically it on how you can bring your animation from Rococo into iClone 8. So that's basically it. A lot of people ask me in the comments how to do this. So it's very easy. You just have to follow these steps and make sure you check out the rest of my channel to see some of the motion capture tutorials that I have for you guys so that you can clean your stuff up in iClone 8. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. i see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to announce that I'm officially one of the judges for the Rococo Love at First Move contest that's currently underway. Now, this contest is going to consist of using the brand new Rococo Move AI system where you don't even need a suit. All you have to do is take any video footage, put it into their software, the AI is going to take care of it. And so that widens it up so anybody can enter in this contest. Now, if you have any questions about the contest, make sure you look at the official rules on Rococo.com. And this is where you're also going to be entering in the contest and if you have any questions on Rococo move you can either go to the Rococo YouTube channel or you can go to my channel where I have a couple of videos showing you guys how to get started so again Wimbush official judge can't wait to see some of your entries I see you guys on the flip side I see you soon take care